Hi, so this week's a little different. My husband needs to work on a little green screen action for a project he has, so I said, okay, two birds, one stone. Let's just do my blog post in front of green screen. Good times. So, uh, my background may look like this, or maybe like this. Either way, content the same. So, I went to a networking event not too long ago and there was a panel discussion up on stage and I couldn't help but be wildly distracted by the body language sitting in chairs. Now, everybody sees a chair and they think of one thing, it's just a chair. But how you sit in the chair conveys a very clear message about who you are. So if you're ready to be a total superstar, you better learn how to work that chair. It seems simple enough. I mean, it's just a piece of furniture. What's the big deal? However, the way you sit in a chair sends a message to your audience. Now, when I was at this conference, it was a panel of very esteemed women, and most of them sat in the chair sort of like you would expect. It was congruent with who they were and polished, poised. They sat, legs crossed, uh, spine extended, smiling, and it all made perfect sense. But there was one that despite the incredible resume, there was oh, the way that she sat in the chair just sent a different kind of message. So the first thing I noticed was feet, heels kind of sticking out, pigeon toed slightly, turned out, hands kind of awkwardly in the lap. Um, and naturally, because the hands were in the lap, the spine kind of pulled forward and it created this very contracted, kind of incongruent with a confident person. I was like, what, what's happening? And the, and the minute I had all those thoughts, I wasn't paying attention to what she said. So I thought to myself, oh man, people really need to understand how to sit in chairs. Now, if you're a short, short person, for example, I bet you've had that experience a few times where you sit in a chair and you're like, oh man, my feet don't touch the ground. Now listen, if your feet don't touch the ground, how can you feel grounded? You can't, it's impossible. So if you sit in a very tall chair and you find that your feet are swinging out, I mean, it's almost like you're a kid, right? Like, oh, yay, I'm sitting down with the big people. Forget about it. I need you to move your body forward to make sure that you have contact with the floor at all times. It's an energy that by virtue of the fact that you touch the floor, that energy from the ground is going to shoot up through your body, through your spine, and it will help you feel connected, confident, strong, and tall and that will exude confidence and, and present yourself as an authority figure. Also, if you come across one of those big, huge armchairs that just makes you want to just sort of like get all comfy cozy, well, that's perfect if you want like a really cozy evening with a friend and just like chat and hang out, but that's not so great for a job interview. So if for whatever reason there's this big, comfy, huge, monstrously pillowy couch or chair for a job interview, Forget about it. Don't let yourself be enveloped in it. Go ahead and sit right on the edge again and just make sure that your energy is forward. Why is this so important? Well, it helps you connect with your audience. And I don't care if it's an audience of one or if it's an audience of 500 people in an auditorium. It sends a message. Every detail sends a message. So in the quest to be a really phenomenal communicator, you want to look at the full picture what you're wearing and how you position yourself in a chair and the smile that you have on your face is just as important as the words coming out of your mouth. In this day and age, maybe even more important. So this next week, I want you to think about how do I sit in a chair? How do I sit in a chair when I really want to impress somebody? How do I sit in a chair when I'm just like having coffee with a friend? How do I sit in a chair if I'm with someone who intimidates me? Does my body naturally retreat a little bit? What happens? The more you bring your awareness to it, the more you have the ability to choose how you want to do something. Bring it out of your subconscious and bring it to your conscious. Because let's face it, we're performing all the time. So perform the part that you want to play. Oh, how about oh, we'll do one of these? Here we go, like this. What, is, what, is, what does she do like this? Like, 
He had the genie, right? Yeah, step a hair to your right. Yeah, that's good. How about this? Is that good? I'll do another one. Like that? Okay. Any more?